What's up, guys? Noon here with the Mobile Player. We're going to be first look in Impressions video into Therain Saga, a free to play browser based MMORPG. Alright, so I just logged into the game. We're kind of checking it out. Kind of out, did a few of the story quests, checking out the interface and so on. And uh, we spend the next few minutes running around, kind of checking this game out. So, right off the bat, this game is uh, it's different. Um, I'm not too sure how I feel about it yet. It is a little odd. It's not really, uh, there's really no exploration to the game, it seems, so far. Well, there is exploration. You can see there's a giant map you can see here. But it's not like other games where you kind of go in, you explore with your character in, like, a third-person view. It's kind of, uh, it kind of has, like, this weird overview kind of thing. And you interact with NPCs, do quests through this little window over here. It's, uh, it's odd. It's different. So, more or less... You're not really running around leveling up a character in the classic RPG sort of way. It's more about kind of building a profile, I would say. Um, it's a little weird, a little bit strange, but um, we're going to go ahead and continue and kind of see how the game plays out. So, here we are. We could click on little NPCs. Uh, we could do different stuff over there. We're going to click on this guy, it seems. So, he has some quests. We're going to go ahead and accept that. Hit goodbye. And then we're going to keep clicking her. And it, right off the bat, it kind of tells us what to do, as most uh, early quests should do in a MMORPG or an RPG in general. Uh, the early quest should be showing you kind of like the the ropes and hooks and stuff like that of the game, kind of showing you what to do. So we're just gonna keep following. Uh, has it wants us to buy one of these? We're gonna go ahead and buy that, and we're gonna complete our quest. Talk to this guy over here again. Click on that. And we're going to go ahead and finish the quest. There we go. So now it's just loading. Finishing it up. And it seems like we got a new little plot of land. So I guess this could kind of play into like, um, sort of like other browser-based RTS-styled games. If you kind of want to compare it like that. Uh, where you do have plots of land and stuff like that. And you build and expand locations. Ultimately building like your town and stuff like that. So I guess you could kind of compare it to that. So we're going to go ahead and click on this, see what's going on. Seems like each different location you click on brings it to like a new little area. Uh, what I would like to see is if this window was bigger, so you can kind of get a bigger picture or a better idea of kind of like where you are. Because all you see right here is just you're on a little island, and you don't really see like where you are on the island or what the island really looks like close up. So we're going to go ahead and click travel to the camp. Let's see if we could do that. Uh, click to execute. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and accept this. Seems like we got another little quest going on. It's loading, and you can see a little guy kind of walking over here. So the game is a little odd. I wish it did have more to it. Is what I'm trying to say. I'm not. I don't want to bash the game, but I mean, it's different, and I can see where some people could find this fun. Um, but I just wish. Um, I wish this was bigger. I wish it had more options. Uh, other than that, the interface is very, uh, very standard and straightforward. You can see we got the global chat over here, your private chat, and guilds. So at guilds, I can assume you can join guilds and probably build and establish more plots of land farther on the map with more people, which is pretty cool. I can see how that could be extremely fun if you really get into it. But we're going to go ahead back and scroll into here. You can see we got different options over here. We got our quest line achievements and different things we could achieve and obtain throughout the game. It's kind of over here. And then um, this is kind of our gear. So the more gear we obtain is kind of all over here. So I kind of have, I got a staff from an earlier quest and I got some gloves. So not too much going on over there. So let's see, we got another guy over here. We're going to go ahead and talk to him. Oh, clicked on the wrong thing. My bad. Go ahead and pick up this quest. Accept it, and we're going to get a torch as reward. All right, so pretty cool. All right, learn to explore. All right, he's going to teach us how to explore, guys. All right, so he's going to show us how to be a wonderful explorer on this little island that we have. Maybe we can get a boat or something like that and explore later on. I don't know how far I'm going to get into the game, but just because um, it does seem pretty straightforward so far. Not too much to it. All right, so we're going to study exploration. All right, seems pretty cool. And uh, the questing is very, very simple. Kind of click on the character, uh, click on the options if it's down over here, and just wait a few seconds for it to complete. So not really much you guys have to do on your part. The game will kind of just, uh, it's a lot of waiting. It seems like a long waiting game. But uh, we're going to go ahead and complete this. We're going to go ahead and finish our quest. We got a torch that's over here in our inventory. You can see here, it looks like we got another tab. Uh, we can get another backpack, it seems, so maybe we can um, obtain more money or something like that later on in the game to expand our inventory, but for now, this is our primary backpack. Can we drag and move items? Oh, we can. Cool. So you can do some, like, um, 
some item management and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and organize this over here so if we get more items, we can fill it up more. It's not just all over the place. And it seems like this guy gives us another quest. And go ahead and accept that. Let's see. I think we have to travel over here. All right. So he taught us how to explore. So we're going to go ahead and click this. And we're going to explore over there. All right. Cool. So it kind of gives a little details on the area that we're going to. We're going to go ahead and hit accept. And it's going to take a few seconds, and our guy's going to walk all the way over there. So this is because there's more um, more options, stuff like that, the more we travel. So it looks like we could explore. Um, we could explore the woods, or we could sleep. So there's more stuff you could do further on you get in the game. All right, it's loading. Uh, let's see, we're exploring the woods. So just more waiting, I guess, for the quest. But um, I guess we'll just wait for that to finish and see what goes on after that. As you can see here, we got some stats and stuff like that for our character. Kind of just looking over everything a little bit as we're waiting for the quest to finish. Um, but what I do really like about the game, I really like the art style. I like how the map is drawn out. I think they've done a really good job of it. And uh, it looks nice. Everything does look really well. It has a good art style. And that's one thing I've enjoyed about it. I like how it looks like an old school or like a classic um, map. It has like little ship over here and stuff like that. Navigational and a grid. And so on. It's pretty cool. I'll give the game that, and then uh, let's see, we'll go over here, we're at the camp, and we're going to go ahead and click on that, let's see what we can do, oh, we got a new area we can explore to, so I guess we can go over here, explore over there, accept that, and I'll wait a few more seconds for our guy to go over there, but other than that, guys, that's it for this video, if you've enjoyed, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe for more, but until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.